This is the view from inside the tower, which was added to the cathedral in the 14th century. We are now looking at the ironwork that ties the tower together to stop spreading loads on the crossing below. The top, lighter coloured orthogonal metal sections are original 14th century wrought iron ties, arguably some of the best medieval ironwork in Europe. The four large diagonal braces at the bottom were added by George Gilbert Scott in the 19th century and are connected to external ironwork at the corners of the tower. This is looking at one of the squinch arches, which were built across the corners of the square tower to support the splayed octangular walls of the spire above. These have caused some spreading of the corners of the tower and have been strengthened with two ties. The large phosphor bronze ties are from the 1930s and the slender stainless steel ties are from the 1980s. They connect to a concrete ring beam underneath the parapet floor around the base of the spire. This is a joint in the original 14th century ties built into the base of the spire. The joints aren't well connected and have been described by the cathedral structural engineer as a bit of a medieval Friday afternoon job. A bit further up you can see a later 20th century tensioned cable tie covered in grease. Further up the spire there are three galvanised steel space frames all the way around the spire erected in the 1980s, mainly to keep the spire safe while heavily eroded decorative stonework was repaired. This is inside the spire on top of the tower, and this is the medieval oak scaffold. Dendrochronological dating has proven that this was actually added after the tower was built later in the 14th century. No one is entirely sure why, although the top of the scaffold does act as a counterweight suspended from the solid masonry on top of the tower. It may have been added after storm damage in 1361. It's a phenomenal piece of medieval structure, 